Hello, welcome back to LA Noir Remaster on PlayStation 4. Sorry, I'm out having to plug my nose a little bit. Oh, I don't know what it is, but this year, colds and flus and everything, when you kick one, you get another. I've, I've never had this before. Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. You can drive. You can drive. You have the address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, bro. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. That wasn't me. <laughs> that was not me. Computer can't blame me for that. Righty Roo. Oh, it's that one. Detectives. They're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. It's a big scene, this one. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. The cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Can we discuss this later? Okay, so... Where am I looking? Just when I think I've seen it all. old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Kiss the blood, BD. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah, we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, 
Further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Here we go, finally. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. Well, follow the trail. Uh huh. Antonia, huh? Same as the library card. to the scene plus the bloodstains no way is this coincidence we kept the area pristine for you boys let's check it out no but that will be important later House keys strung up like bait on a hook. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that crazy son of a bitch. That's got to be a code. A cipher. Where are you taking us? Up. Is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new MO. I told you. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. points up. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance?
son of a bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Thankfully, we don't need to go all the way down. <clears throat> I think I've got everything. Hey, Cole. Oh, let's get moving. We missed one. Unfortunately. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. That's what I missed. Unfortunately, now I actually do need to go all the way down. You never know when evidence like that might be important, so I always go and get it. Right. Antonio's residence. You can drive. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway, but doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? He's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. True. Sorry, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lapente, the owner of this boarding house. 
Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wop your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Uh, yeah, I'm not wiping my teeth a new one. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Look at that. Someone's turned the place over. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. The smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from. I know. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Possible suspects. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. A uh, good cop. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. <laughs> Movements of the victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. Yeah. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Bad cop. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Uh, evidence of the break-in. You've had a break-in? No! That can't be true. Uh, lie. Or in this game, accuse. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Hmm. Right, you got a broken window or I am picket. Either way, you get the same answer. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? 
I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. And break down to marriage. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Yeah, that's a lie. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. And the other charm bracelet photograph. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the El Dorado bar. Uh, let's go to Maldonado's residence. <clears throat> Can you drive to this one? A nosy old hag? Ha! Ah! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? Maldonado is in apartment 304. Alright, so ground floor, first floor, second floor. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Come quietly, Mr. Maldonado. Now look. I got nothing. Sweet. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. <laughs> Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, goddammit! You think I'd kill my own wife? We should get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Just picked fruit market. <laughs> I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. This will take some explaining.
Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. Got an alibi, he's toast. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Okay, that's one. No good. There's nobody here. Two. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well-executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now. Finbar. The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe the regulars, too. You should check it out. Two. Ground floor. KGPL, Levin King, over. Levin King, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central when your letter has been found. Levin K, en route. Right. So now we can go to Central Police Station. You're behind the wheel. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three, fellas. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself to the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Mm, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that, but meh. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with anchor. Homicide. You know you've got it made if you can get to that desk. And in we go. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. 
This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Okay. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. All right, last contact with the victim. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. Lie. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Uh, yeah, because that's a reliable alibi. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car. It was a brown Ford coupe. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Good cop. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Divorce? You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Attorney's letter. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. 
She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. What difference does that make? And bloodstain shirt. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Ippolito, he said some bad things about Antonio last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Right, El Dorado Bar. You know the way, you can drive. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. True. But also wrong. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Okay. <clears throat> and there's the papers. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. You know, the temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Bad cop. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. And movement. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? 
She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Let me ask you a couple. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. First things first. Same. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal. Just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. No tell them where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. Hmm. Just picked fruit market. That's where Antonia went to call for a cab last night. Yeah, it's fine, fine. You ought to meet Joe's buddy. Ah, there he is. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Across the street to just pick fruit. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hansen believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? Fucking cased his nose away from the guts. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking sidewalk. Okay. The handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Well, he could walk through it. Why can't I? Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Are you working Friday night? We should go out afterwards. Sir, I'm the... Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Distinctive necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Bye, cop. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh... Look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Uh, contact with the victim. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Back up. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Good cop. Can you describe the car? 
brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Why cut someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! God damn it, get after him, Cole. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. The fruit guy's getting away, Phelps. Who's about to get picked? Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. We can't come back to Donnelly empty handed. Give yourself up! Come on, yeah. Phelps, wrap it up so we can raid this bozo boot supply. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Mr. Clue. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh. Still got a level five after running over a dude on the way on that tra uh, um, chase. Yeah, I'll take that. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggy? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. 
Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three! Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp? So, yeah, a bit more of the backstory, which we'll get to later. So, thanks for watching, and uh, keep tuning back for the next case, which is obviously the White Shoe Slang. Try saying that fast, <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye.